So basically, one day the Hitman 3 servers will be shut down. Let's not think about that too much. But a dedicated group of fans are already preparing for the future and started the Peacock project, a server replacement for the PC versions of the game that will take over once IOI pulls the plug. And even though this will not happen anytime soon, using Peacock is already worth using. You get full access to every single elusive target in the game without any restrictions. You get access to all items in the game, even ones that aren't normally accessible. Keep in mind though that for certain items you need to own the corresponding DLCs. You can play contracts from almost any platform. The system is still being worked on, but cross-platform contracts are a possibility with Peacock. A feature the standard game could use too by the way. And lastly, they offer custom escalations with fun and unique gameplay. All items, starting locations and smuggle spots are unlocked by default, so even if you are a first time player, you instantly get to enjoy the full game. In return though, there is no mastery or challenge system, at least for the time being, so if you like grinding for your progress, then you won't be a huge fan of Peacock. Now getting Peacock is very easy and I should mention it's completely free as well. If you search for this website here, you'll find this link that will bring you straight to the official Peacock Discord. Also something very important you can find here is this guide with a full rundown of all features Peacock has and how to use them. Definitely read through this because it goes into great detail. Now on how to install Peacock. If you come to Downloads on the Discord server, you'll find this zip file right here. Download that and once it's finished, you can drag it on a desktop or wherever you like. Then just use extract all and it should generate a new folder. You can delete the zip file and rename the new folder if you want. And this is basically where Peacock is controlled from. The first thing you're going to do every time you want to use Peacock is start server. You will get a warning the first time but you can safely grant Peacock access. Next you open up the Peacock Patcher, which will also give you a warning only the first time, and these warnings should never show up again. When the server and patcher are running, you can open up Hitman 3 as usual. Your menu should look something like this. Sometimes you still get connected to the regular servers, in that case just close the game and start it up again. A nice thing you can do inside the folder, if you go to Options and search for Show Elusive Targets, you can replace defaults with True and then ETs will show up on the map and with instinct. And if you're still not satisfied with the feature or item selection, just come to this section called plugin releases, and when you find a plugin you like, just download it and drag it into your Peacock folder. And that's how easy it is to use Peacock. Definitely a great thing to have if you play on PC, and I can only recommend checking it out. Very important to know, Peacock is still under development, and a lot will certainly change over time. For any further questions, I can once again recommend reading the guide or just asking in a Discord server. Thanks for watching and until next time.